Hello everybody and welcome to the Octopath Traveler for the Nintendo Switch. My name is Mr. Soap 999 and today we're going to make our way over to um gosh, I don't know which way I'm gonna be going. <laughs> um Well since Cyrus here is rather close and uh, we don't I assume that he's a mage. So how about we go over there and go get him, yeah? Our party's looking a little thin. So uh, let's make our way through over here and um while we're at it we could encounter some new people. So that's always a good thing to see, yes? Oh boy, so, um, uh, how are you guys all doing? Hope you're all having a fun time. Fun time like how I am right now. Oh, what's over here? It's a cave. It's just a... It's just a cave here, what? Oh, come on, really? How am I supposed to get to that chest over there? Ah, uh, fine. Very well, game. But yeah, so how are you guys all doing today? I hope you all are doing good. I am having a rather fun time here. This game is very addicting, to say the least. Okay, um, let's take out this guy here. He is rather strong. Okay. He's weak to that. But what in the world is this? He is rather evasive, okay. But he's also rather weak as well. So that's something out that balances out, I suppose. Oh he he fled. <laughs> okay, he's one of those he's one of those guys that just flees, alright. So first encounter with a kit and he just leaves. Alright, well, we'll finish this battle here. So um before I was so rudely interrupted. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all having a fun time. And hopefully if you bought this game, you're having a fun time as well. Just like how I am. So last time, we helped Tressa with her little, pro with her little pri pirate problem. And she joined us. Yes. Of course, Olberg is still on his quest to find um, Earhart. Who, who, for some reason or another, betrayed okay, his liege or his king. So, let's, um, we're just gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to work our way up here, and hopefully, we can recruit Cyrus to join us. I'm thinking, how am I supposed to go about this here? And I'm thinking maybe I should go Cyrus and then go to Primrose because. I think Primrose is a dancer, so she has some really good abilities to um, boost our party. To boost our party, like give us more BP. Maybe also give us uh, like boosts for defense, offense, I don't know. I'm just going by what I know from uh, previous games like this. Not sure if it lines up or not, but hey, it's alright. It's all good. Alright, let's uh, make our way out of here. I gotta say, this place looks really nice. They did a really good job making this game. <laughs> oh, great again. These guys! Ugh. Persistence, pestilence. I will cut you down. Get destroyed with some level slash, buddies. And then we'll just have Tressa poke them to death. My turn now. Oh, she's gonna move again. <laughs> nice job. Right, level slash one more time. Mooks are still persistent. Darn it. Okay. <laughs> oh, missed. No. Ah. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> He's too strong. What to do? Huh? Right, to death. Awesome. Time to close up shop. Nice. Close up shop? Yep. Woo. Alright, moving on. Let's see if we can find some more treasure chests before we uh, go on. Yes? It's always good to find some treasure chests. Ooh, I found a safe spot. Yeah, what a save right here. Wait, save. Yes, save. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. Um, no, we can't go that way. All right. Can I go down here? I can go down here. Wait. Ah! It's a good day These that. damn random encounters. <laughs> some days, some days you don't get any random That's encounters. Cute. And some days the game just decides, hey, you know what, we're gonna throw a whole bunch of enemies at you, because why the heck not? 
But at least um, Ulbrich is taking them to burn of this like I want to. Because uh, before I uh, started this, uh, I was taking a look at... I was taking a look at um, Tressa's stats. She's rather tanky, but I prefer she not gets hit at all. Because that would be not a good thing if she gets hit. Okay, got a healing grape here. Alright, so I'm not going to be running because if I run, there's a higher chance that I get targeted. I mean, that's fun and all, but uh, I prefer not to get targeted. But uh, either way, I'm still getting targeted. <laughs> I'm still getting... I'm still getting targeted, I still feel like a delicious wandering traveler to these guys. I'm gonna hide in the shell. Shoot the fishy. Shoot the fishy. Flying fish. Oh my god. Fly, fly fish. Fly fish! Fly fish! Oh, I'm so sorry. Um. It's a long, it's a long story, but if any of you have played Splatoon, you'll know that fly fish are absolutely evil. They should all die. Alright, nice. This guy just died. Yes, whatever each battle you do to go stronger. That's good. And uh, I can pick up this treasure chest over here. Yes, finally. Nice. I'm gonna run over here real quick. East Alstan Dam Flats. 280 pounds. 280 pay from an unfortunate soul that lost it. Nice. I like free money. I'm sure everybody likes free money. Yes? 500 pay. Right. Ah! Oh, great. Ready or not, here what I the come. heck? Frogs. Shall be mine. Flatlands frog it. Okay, it's not vulnerable to that. Ah, okay, how did I try this? Weak. Excellent. Okay. That's what he's weak to. Victory shall be mine. The same. No. <laughs> Great. Holbrook is useless here. Trust us gonna have to carry all of this. Charge! It's truly joy. Okay, you know what? Come Take me. Let's do yeah, it. So that way, our merchant doesn't get targeted too much. There we go. Too slow. Nice. There we go. Well, it's not gonna do anything, but it at least piles on damage. I think that's what matters. Let's do this. There we are. Vulnerable. Just what I wanted. And he's dead. Hey? Yeah, he certainly did. He got way more than he bargained for. <laughs> oh, treasure chest! I must grab it. Uh, as soon as my slow feet can get up there. Inspiring, inspiriting plume. Thank you very much. Hmm, so we got two paths over here that we can go. See which way. Blast the flames, Grace. Tide, purple tide, and Astalan. Um, let's go. Ah! Oh! I probably oh, what did these? I never seen these before. My turn now. Let's see here. Okay, it's weak to Lance. I missed. All right. Uh, oh, I wanna. I want to have at least two of them broken. I want to at least have two of their guards broken so that way they won't be able to mount too much attacks on me. Nice. There we go. Ah. Okay. Their shield is back up. That's not good. Hopefully we can get a level up so that way I can replenish their health and their SP. Hmm. Body bash. No. Oh. There we are. One down. Oh, take up this guy. Yes. 
Nice job, folks. Nice job. No, 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 that's the wrong one. Yes. That one. Yes, took out that one guy all by himself. Brave. Nice. Yes, level up. Nice job, that's what I was looking for. Alright. Alright, let's go over here. This looks like a really fancy place. So that can only mean one thing. We're about to see something fancy. Hopefully I'll be able to have time to hear what um, Cyrus's tale is. Hi ho! Artists in all the flatlands. Well, it's a city of Verium where many scholars come for the purposes of study and research. Can't challenge. No, 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 no! Can I purchase? Nice. I'll take that. Thank you. Yes, dedicated to the merchant's craft. <laughs> Can't challenge you. Sketchy. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll not challenge. But I'll purchase. King for the... Oh. I don't know what it is, but uh, I'll take it. Okay, this is the inn. I don't need to go there, because... My SP and health are replenished, thanks to level up. So let's save here real quick, and then um, let's see if I can find Cyrus. Alrighty. And oh, wait. Ooh. Provisioner. Oh, like that. Herb of Revival. Um, I'll take up five of these. It's all good. Alright. What do we got here? I can't challenge these little kids. Shucks. What do these kids have for me? That's price. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what you got, son. Rock egg. I'll take it. <laughs> Can you eat it? How's it taste? Always looking for a bargain. <laughs> yes, we're always looking for bargains. What have you got for me? Oh, the glaive looks nice, but then you lose speed. But then again, I do want... I do want Tressa to go first, because she has... BP donation. That's always good. In. I can't trade her to nothing. All right, so this is looking around nice. Hello there. A challenge. Sketchy. Ah, wrong, wrong button. Okay, let's see. A purchase from you. Hmm. I'll purchase this. Yeah, always looking for a bargain. Alright, uh, let's see if we can go up here and let's go find Cyrus, yes? And I uh, hear his tale, and then I'll end it off there. Then, speak of the devil. There he is. Hmm, yes, I think I now know who stole that tome. Perhaps I should go have a little chat with him, just to make sure we all, we all understand one another. We're about, to have a cut, we're about to have a cut scene here, so I'm going to be muting the mic very soon. His name is Cyrus, and he is a scholar. This is As Astalus Atlas Dam, nestled in the fertile plains on the flatlands. It's home to the Royal Academy, where many a scholar studies night and day to bring the light of knowledge to the royal family and to all the realm. He passes his days in the halls of the Great Library, devouring tomes to his heart's content. It is in that library where he learns of a grievous death. Certain that the one certain that one of his fellow scholars is the culprit, Cyrus sets out alone to confront the man in his shadowy suburban subur, subterranean study. He will need wise allies on the path he has chosen. Take Cyrus along, yep, yeah, take you along. And this is where my commentary will stop for now. And so it was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. Indeed, our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Austera. But, 
There was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Therese? <laughs> I, um, I think it was... Now, now. No need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Yes, Professor. Let's see. I believe it was Hornberg? That is correct. Hornburg was ruled over by a royal family said to be descended from priests of an ancient and long forgotten religion. On the other hand, our fair Atlas Dam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time? Your Highness? The histories have it that eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. Correct you are, Your Highness. It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandport invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandport sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. Oh! But look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters three and four before our next lecture. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Yes, Professor. Thank you for another most stimulating lecture, Professor Albright. Hello? Ah, Professor Albright. Mercedes from the Royal, Royal Library came by with a message for you. So it seems today's your lucky day. You've been granted permission to enter the special archives. Oh, splendid! Finally, I can begin my research. <laughs> yeah, he's been looking for it. The library is just outside the palace. I best make haste. So we'll head to the library, and then, um... Well, actually, wait a minute. We'll, we'll take a look here at what Cyrus is able to do. Nothing here so far. Okay, there's a class going on right now. Cannot deserve that. Greetings! His Majesty possesses a unique understanding of scholarly pursuits. Bad, eh? He founded the Royal Library and Academy where nobles and commoners alike can learn freely. Yeah. Ahead lies the audience chamber. If you would, if you would seek His Majesty's counsel, pray proceed. I'm just looking for goods here. Okay, nothing over here. Wonder. Oh yeah. So by the way, that girl down there with the you know, white hair—that sounds like Secure from Fate. Oh, we think we got another cutscene here, do we? Let me see here. Oh yeah, we got another cutscene. Okay, I was mistaken. <laughs> I was mistaken. 
Oh, thank heavens you're still here. I thought I had missed you. Your Highness. What can I do for you, Your Highness? The truth of the matter if you can spare the time, I had a question about something we learned today. But of course. But of course, Your Highness, it would be my pleasure to answer anything. Mm -hmm. Ask away. After all, my role as your tutor is as important to me as any of my research. Fortunately, I cannot spare such time. Is the question a quick one? Indeed. Yes, Professor, I will, it will not take long. I was just wondering about the ancient religion of Hornburg. Pray tell, what did they worship? Very astute of you. Very astute question, Your Highness. Hmm. However, I fear that nearly all the texts detailing the nature of the religion were burned and lost when Hornburg fell. I see. A shame, that. Yeah, that is a shame. The truth is... I do, however, have a theory of my own. I believe that the royal family of Hornburg were guardians of an ancient power. Mind you, this is not idle speculation. My theory is based on the fact that... <laughs> and it just chatted away. <laughs> <laughs> Let us continue the discussion another time. My apologies for keeping you, Professor. With pleasure. No need to apologize. And it will be my pleasure, Your Highness. That such questions occur to you is a sign of a sharp and curious mind. And also raises my pay grade. I thank you. Your lectures on the history of the realm are most fascinating to me. For if I do not, for if I do not learn of our past, how can I hope to lead my people to a bright future? Indeed, a most admirable philosophy, Your Highness. The people of this land are truly fortunate to be led by one of such wisdom and kindness, as I am truly fortunate to have the opportunity to serve in some small way. <laughs> you are far too kind, Professor Albright. I am proud to be your student. Ah. Oh dear, I'm running late. Good day. Pray do not pray do not forget your assignment, Your Highness. Farewell. Of course, Professor. I am missing my library work. <laughs> oh oh, and he spotted trees. Ah. Do you have a question? Did you have a question for me as well? No. I... I need... <clears throat> good, good day, Professor. My throat. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. Well, let's make up for the library, yes? I'm pretty sure none of these guys have anything for me anyway. So, here we go. Library time. Let's see what we got in the library. It's me, Cyrus. Good day, Mercedes. Cyrus Albright here to browse the special archives. <laughs> oh, Professor Albright, you're looking quite eager today. Mm -hmm. When I heard that an original copy of the Church of the Flame, a complete history, had been donated to our archives, I simply had to be the first to see it. I see. You're more on top of our collection than I am. Just sign here. With pleasure. With pleasure. <laughs> Damn, it reminds me of me when I was younger. Books. I always loved books. Mm hmm? There's something I miss? Action. Something missing from the library? There's someone known as the most burnt mind in the Royal Academy. <laughs> when you talk about books, you're as giddy as a schoolboy. <laughs> when you put it that way, yes, much as a child is fascinated by a new toy, I am titillated by the prospect of acquiring new knowledge. I see. Right, the expression of your right, the expression of your face says it all. <laughs> anyway, everything seems to be in order. Enjoy your quest for knowledge, Professor. 
Many thanks. Many thanks, my dear. I most certainly will. And then he spent all night searching for what he was looking for. How on? The tome is nowhere to be found. Uh oh. Mystery. Somebody has an overdue past book. Did someone returned it to the wrong shelf? Not here either. Hmm. These archives are strictly guarded and curated. Wherever could it have gone? Mystery, mystery. Professor Albright. Professor Albright, the headmaster will see you at once. <sighs> of all the times to. Oh well, might I ask you a favor? Hmm? What might that be? The truth is. Tom, I'm. The tome I mentioned before seems to have gone missing. Could you locate it for me? I see. Missing? Huh? I'll be on looking at once, Professor. Many thanks. Many thanks, my dear. Oh boy. Oh. Cyrus boy. Albright, by your request, sir. Cutscene. Do enter. My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. How might I be of assistance, Headmaster? That treatise on arcane studies you published. What in the gods' names were you thinking? Sir? I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm not talking about your hypothesis. You went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archives. The knowledge housed in those tombs is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. I am fully aware of the value of those tomes, Headmaster. It is for that very reason I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing! That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone. But that goes against everything. Enough, Cyrus! Even my best argument is sure to fall on deaf ears. The Headmaster sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone. Something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An unfortunate attitude, indeed. My sincere apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? That is all. You may go. Wait! There was one last thing. Sir? I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. Good gods. It's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. Thank you for your concern, Headmaster. In that case, be on my way. Enter. Uh, excuse me. What's the matter? Oh, what have we got here? Mm. Therese, what are you up to? It's about Professor Albright, sir. Sakura, what are you doing to me? Alright, well, um, this should be a good place to leave it off, you guys. Thank you for watching, and come back next time. We shall be making for the library quickly and find out what's the matter. But until then, stay fresh and have a good day.